Hi everyone, so today we'll be testing out the new Maybelline New York Super BB Moist Matte BB Cream SPF 24 PA++ in the shade number 2 or medium beige. I went to Landmark Department Store and then I saw this because I've been looking for like a tinted moisturizer or like a really good foundation that already has good SPF levels. And then I saw this and then I thought to myself, I haven't seen the packaging before, so maybe it's new. And then I asked the sales lady, I asked her if this is new and she said, yeah, it's actually a new product. It's now like a new type of BB cream. I've noticed that most of the characters are in Japanese, but most of these characters are in Japanese. However, I will read the ones that are in English. From here up to here, it's all readable in English, but from here to here, it's all Japanese. Um, the price is 399 pesos. The cover level is like 4 out of 5. Shade is medium beige. Non-comedogenic, suitable for sensitive skin. Dermatologist tested and it's Maybelline's first time with the 8-hour hydration test result. Um, the amount of product is, you know, the usual 30 ml. So let's see, I'm gonna open it. So it does have this, I don't know what this is called, but it's probably for storing. And here it is. I think in terms of like the shape and the figure, it's pretty similar to the past BB creams of Maybelline, the pink one and the bluish teal colored ones. Yeah, but before I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna prime first. I've already moisturized my face, so I'm gonna prime using the Maybelline baby skin. Next up, I won't be using the BB cream yet. I still have to do a little bit of color correction. So I'm gonna do that using a concealer and a liquid lip tint. So I just applied the two pigments here and here and then I, I usually just mix it using my fingers. And then I apply it under my eyes. So now that I'm done with color correcting my eye bags, I'm gonna apply the BB cream. Then I apply the BB cream and then I'm gonna apply concealer to the areas where not much was covered. So I don't know about the coverage of this, but it says that the cover level is four out of five. So I don't know, but I'm gonna put a little bit at the back of my hand. It is moussey. Basically, the consistency reminds me of L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Consistency-wise, it's pretty similar. Usually, when it comes to BB creams, people only use their hands. BB cream stands for Beauty Balm, by the way. Okay. Okay, mm-hmm. This is a little bit weird for me because I haven't used my hands for applying a full foundation for like a very very long time. Coverage wise, it's actually pretty good. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. I don't know if you can see that. But it is a bit tacky though. It must be, I don't know, SPF or something. I'm just going to do this. It'll go down deeper than the skin even more. And then using the remaining ones, I'm going to apply it here. I can't believe this is BB cream. It looks it looks like a foundation. I think it's gonna be a case-to-case -case basis if you will like this or not. It all it will all boil down to your personal preference. This is actually pretty decent. In terms of like coverage, I didn't really expect a lot with the coverage because it's a BB cream, you know. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, I still have a few blemishes here, a little bit here, and I guess a little bit here. So, um, I'm gonna do a little concealing and then I will be right back after I finish my makeup. And I'm now done with my makeup. Stay tuned for updates. I will be updating in about a few hours, so yeah.
So time check, it is now 8.45 in the evening and I applied this at, at like 11.30. So I did blot two times like on the sides of my nose and on my T-zone and not on the whole face. So I didn't blot here because I like keeping my cheeks a little dewy, a little glowy. If you will ask me which has better oil control i'd probably still say fit me but yeah this is really good because of the spf but yeah it really i mean i didn't use any highlighter i don't really use highlighter i'm just literally very oily yeah i will blot a bit but yeah i did blot a little bit you can still see a little a little bit of dewiness to conclude the video. It's good. I'm gonna put my rating here. So generally, uh, yes, I would purchase. I would recommend it to people. In terms of oil control, yes, you do have to blot. Maybe if you're really oily like me, you'd have to blot maybe one to two times in 12 hours or so but i don't really mind so and it does make it look very glowy very healthy i'll see you guys on my next video